News update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The state releasing the latest COVID-19 numbers reporting 235 new cases for a total number of 123,139 in the Bay State. There were also nine more deaths, bringing the statewide death toll to 9,010. After welcoming back students in late August, Pope Francis Preparatory School is now going fully remote. The school superintendent making that decision after learning a COVID positive student participated with other contacts on non Pope Francis club sports teams. The new remote learning period will now last a minimum of two weeks with a tentative reentry date of September 29th. At that point, the school plans on using a hybrid model for a short period of time. And it's the first day of school on Tuesday for the largest school district in Western Mass. Springfield students and parents getting ready to start the year fully remote. Springfield officials say this won't be anything like when they shut down at the beginning of the pandemic. Superintendent Daniel Warwick telling Western Mass News students will be held to a higher standard moving forward. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast overnight getting chilly temperatures dropping down to the upper 30s in a few spots close to the Vermont border. Most of us will be in the lower 40s though with a light breeze and clear skies after that chill in the morning tomorrow actually looking like a seasonably cool day highs will be in the middle to upper 60s for many breezes will be much lighter compared to Monday. We'll have a wind at about five miles an hour through the afternoon and plenty of sunshine with just a few fair weather clouds. Now high pressure will keep the humidity low through Wednesday and sky sunny. We are tracking a cold front for Thursday into Friday though and this front may get slowed down by the remnants of Hurricane Sally which look to make their way toward the mid-Atlantic coast by Friday as well. This could allow shower chances to increase for us by the end of the week and we definitely need the rain. It's not looking like a lot of wet weather but there is the chance for a few showers by late Thursday. Thursday the warmest day of the week after some showers linger on Friday another shot of cool fall air on tap for the weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.